From 200 feet, the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, first time it's been seen since uh, March 2002, the most recent servicing mission. Atlantis uh, essentially station keeping uh, while the final command sequence uh, being completed uh, before moving in for the final approach to grapple. Atlantis Houston, uh, happy to report that the HST commanding is complete. You are go for grapple when we get there. That's great news. Go for grapple, and we're about uh, 150 feet right now. As the uh, telescope gets closer to uh, Atlantis's payload bay, the uh, the low gain antenna which is located on the bottom side of the telescope as it gets closer to the payload bay. The Hubble team expects to lose a lock with the tracking and data relay satellite. They'll then get their uh, commanding um, confirmations directly through the orbiter system with the payload interrogate, interrogator link. 130 feet off the bottom of the telescope. Radio, we copy 130 feet. Shuttle's uh, robotic arm is uh, in position and uh, awaiting uh, the uh, commanding from uh, Megan MacArthur as uh, she will be in charge of uh, the shuttle's uh, remote manipulator system for the grapple of the telescope. And Houston, uh, we just went to inertial or 137 feet. Uh, we'll be in a be inertial burn here momentarily. Radio, we copy and we see that. 137 feet uh, from the telescope, essentially in the um, uh, inertial hold. Uh, that is the point where the crew will uh, fly out the uh, yaw or change the yaw of the uh, shuttle rotate the shuttle essentially about its axis to align properly with the uh, telescope, uh, essentially matching uh, the views that uh, it would have been in uh, had the telescope performed that 42-degree um, that yaw maneuver. And he's getting 138 feet going in. Copy, 138 feet. And he's in Atlantis. We have the uh, telescope and the uh, RMSN detector. Reggie, we copy, and uh, we're pulling down the KU right now. We see that. Thank you. The equipment uh, section uh, coming into view with the aft shroud of the telescope. Uh, behind those doors are the rate sensor units, essentially the gyroscopes that uh, control uh, the telescope's uh, attitude, the uh, white area, the uh, wide field planetary camera two uh, location. That uh, camera will be swapped on the first spacewalk of the mission, replaced with a new improved wide field camera three and just above that coming into view the forward shell of the telescope the various uh, equipment bays that uh, provide all of the electronics packages uh, for the telescope and the grapple fixture uh, now in view Megan MacArthur now uh, repositioning the uh, shuttle's robotic arm to align with the grapple fixture on the telescope. Uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis, uh, all of its thruster jets have been inhibited. It's in free drift. And uh, Megan MacArthur uh, moving in for the final uh, few feet uh, for grapple of Hubble for the first time uh, since its deploy uh, f following STS-109 back in March 2002.
Houston, Atlantis. Hubble has arrived on board Atlantis with the arm. Atlantis, Houston, we copy. Nice job, uh, Megan. Nice job on the Proxop flying as well. It's great to be back with the telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope safely in the arms of Space Shuttle Atlantis, high above uh, Western Australia. The uh, telescope was grappled at 12.14 p.m. Central Time, 1.14 uh, this afternoon Eastern Time, at an altitude of 350 statute miles. So the crew has been given a go to uh, once the inertial rates or, or the damping rates are uh, clear on the uh, Atlantis, the crew has been given a go to berth the telescope, um, a series of steps in a berthing procedure that the crew will follow. The only, uh, they will hold, at least for now, they plan to hold uh, at the step uh, just before uh, connecting the uh, remote umbilical, uh, which provides uh, power to the telescope directly from the orbiter through that uh, flight support system. Some additional commanding would need to be sent first to, uh, because currently the uh, onboard batteries of the telescope are being charged through the solar arrays. And there's a command uh, sequence that would uh, essentially disable that so that the uh, battery charging can be done through the, uh, the power umbilical that would uh, be remotely attached to the uh, telescope through the uh, flight support system. We have confirmation that the telescope is safely berthed atop the flight support system in Atlantis's payload bay. All three latches confirmed closed. Crew's been given a go for uh, the survey of the uh, telescope using the end effector camera. And a live view from on board the space shuttle Atlantis looking up at the uh, Hubble Space Telescope, the minus V3 side, where much of the activity of uh, tomorrow's first spacewalk will take place. Houston Atlantis, break to speed. We do show good solar ray motion. Copy, John. We've got uh, good KU imagery. Thank you. The astronauts confirming what the uh, stock has just reported to Mission Control in Houston, that the uh, motion of the solar rays has begun. It's uh, anticipated that the uh, complete uh, slewing of these arrays to the new position will take approximately 15 minutes to complete. That's uh, done to uh, not only facilitate charging of batteries, but to uh, clear the work site on the uh, minus V2 side, where uh, Grunsfeld and Feustel will be working tomorrow to install the new uh, SIC and DH equipment. That's in Bay 10 of the uh, Hubble, which is uh, located just below the, uh, the uh, uh, solar array that is on the minus V2 side. Telescope Operations Center has reported to Mission Control at Houston that the solar array slew is complete. 